Hello students I hope you all are doing well in this presentation I am going to cover drive circuits for stepper motor but before starting this topic it is very important to understand that what is the significance of using the drive circuit the special electric circuits along with the motor known as drives are required to follow the switching sequence of the stepper motor in order to obtain a satisfactory precise and accurate performance the pulses given to the motor are obtained from a dc supply the drive circuit is also to be excited by the dc supply so the dc supply to drive the circuit and motor must be free from harmonics as much as possible in order to obtain a precise performance from the drive the single phase rectifiers contain harmonics and irregularities so they cannot be recommended for this purpose the batteries or three phase rectifiers are best suited for these applications as they are free from harmonics the drive circuits must possess the following features for obtaining the optimum torque output from a stepper motor the first one is the current in the phase winding must rise from zero to the desired value within the shortest duration of time during turning on the switch and secondly the current in the phase winding must drop to zero value within the shortest duration of time during turning off the switch many drive circuits have been proposed for the purpose in order to achieve these objectives the choice of the drive circuit depends on the step angle the power rating of the stepper motor and the requirement of turning back the inductive energy stored in the winding of the motor to the dc supply some of the simplest drives are being described in the next slide starting with the unipolar drive circuit for variable reluctance stepper motor we know that the torque produced in the variable reluctance motor is proportional to the square of the current so the direction of the current in phase winding for operating the motor is not important the windings of four phases of the motors are to be given pulse with the help of four electronic switches s1 s2 s3 and s4 as shown in the figure these switches are to be turned on and turned off at particular instance following the switching sequence of the stepper motor this is being done by the pulses given to them by digital integrated circuit or using a microprocessor and the appropriate program loaded in the microprocessor as shown in the figure a high value resistance rf known as forcing resistance is connected in series with each phase winding so as to give a small rise time which which uh, is as short as possible to current to reach its desired value a free wheeling diode along with the high value resistance rd is connected in series with it for dissipating the energy stored in the inductive winding in shortest period is also provided in order to minimize the time taken by the current to drop to zero value within shortest possible time this drive circuit allows the rapid rise of current during the turn on along with a wider range of speed control and an instantaneous turn off within no time the forcing resistance however reduces the drive efficiency the ratings of the switches used depend on the power rating of the stepper motor to be controlled the drive circuits for variable reluctance stepper motor of higher ratings are designed with the arrangement of returning back the inductive power stored in the motor windings to the drive circuit and to dc supply to increase the overall efficiency of the drive now moving on to the bipolar drive circuit for permanent magnet stepper motor and hybrid stepper motor a simple bipolar drive circuit for only one phase winding of a stepper motor is shown in the figure the torque produced by the permanent magnet stepper motor and hybrid stepper motor is directly proportional to the current so direction of flow of current is very important from the point of view of direction of torque produced clockwise or counter clockwise the current and direction of flow of current in phase winding can be controlled by appropriate switching of switches t1 t2 simultaneously and then t3 t4 simultaneously which is controlled by a digital integrated circuit or a microprocessor at proper instance the high value resistance rf known as forcing resistance is provided in series with the phase winding so as to minimize the switching time of the current from zero to desired value during turn on and from desired value to zero current during turn off the switches This drive circuit allows the rapid rise of current during the turn on along the with the wider range of speed control and an instantaneous turn off 
without no time the forcing resistance however reduces the drive efficiency the ratings of the switches used depend on the power rating of the stepper motor to be controlled so that's all for this lecture see you in the next one till then stay safe and stay healthy